Ulman maafi samawati wal ard. And I told you the argument here, and that is about the basic tenets of Islam, iman, tawhid. Because now who are being addressed are the idolaters, are the associators, are the mushrikeen of Bakka in the Bakki surahs. All the argument going on in, in, in the Madani surahs we have been reading, that is with the people of the book, they believe in Allah. At least they profess that we believe in one Allah, especially the Jews. They believe in one Allah, monotheism, they claim. But here, you know, the people at Mecca, they were idolaters, polytheists, who believed in so many gods and goddesses, who were praying to them, who had carved out, you know, the idols. But even they believed that everything in this universe belongs to Allah. And everything in the universe has been created by Allah. At that level, they were also monotheists. Only what they believed was that there are certain smaller gods also and goddesses also. And this is actually the shirk everywhere in the world. Mahadev in India had been one. Devi, Devta, innumerable. God with capital G, one. Omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. These were the attributes. In Greece also, in Rome also. One God. But gods and goddesses, innumerable. In this same way, Allah, one. If you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will say immediately, Allah, Allah created. They didn't believe that there are two gods who have created this universe. No. Creator is one. And here the question, you know. Ask them, to whom belong all the things which are in the heavens and in the earth? And say yourself, O Muhammad sallallahu to, to Allah belongs everything. Kataba ala nafsi rahma. He has prescribed upon himself, made imperative upon himself mercy. But what is the result of that mercy? What is the manifestation of that mercy? La yajmanna kumila yawmil qiyamati la rahmafi. This is the biggest manifestation of his mercy that he will definitely gather you on the day of resurrection. Why? People who are being wronged here, people who are being oppressed here, people who are exploited, people on whom others rule, they are ruled. Well, they will be compensated on the day of the judgment. This is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If somebody is living, you know, by moral laws, he is the loser. They might have to go hungry. If one decides, I won't earn anything from haram means, maybe he has to go hungry. If there is no resurrection and they don't get any reward for it, it is injustice. It is cruelty to them. That is why it's out of mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assigned to himself that he must resurrect you, he must gather you, he must reward you. Note the words. Kataba ala nafsi rahma la yajmanna kumila yawm al qiyamati la rayma He will definitely gather you on the day of judgment about which there is no doubt. Al ladina khasiru al fuzam fam la yubinun. But those who have decided to keep in loss, to destroy their own selves, then they are not going to believe. They are not going to accept it. Why? Because they know they are the evildoers. They are the exploiters. They are the oppressors. Now they don't want to accept that there will be resurrection because they will be punished. Those who are wronged, Resurrection is going to be a mercy for them. And for the evildoers, it is going to be a punishment for them. 
قبل آیو منو دے وونٹ ایکسپٹ دے وونٹ بلیو دیٹ دیر از گوئنگ ٹو بی این ریلیکشن وہ لہو ما شکل فل ون نہار ان دی پریسیڈنگ آیا اٹ واز وہ لیمن مافی سما بات یو نو اسپیس ٹائم اینڈ اسپیس مافی سما بات اٹ این کام پاس از آل دی اسپیس آل ایگزٹنس دی ہیونس اینڈ دی ارتھ ناؤ دی ادر ڈائمنس ان ٹائم لہو ما سکن فل ون نہار اینڈ ٹو ہم بلونگ وٹ ایور ریس ڈیورنگ دی نائٹ اینڈ دی ڈے سو ٹائم اینڈ اسپیس بہت دی ڈائمنشن کور وہ ہوا سمی العلیم اینڈ ہی از دی آل لسنر آل ہیئر آل نور غیر اللہ تخذ ولی فاطر سماوات ولر آس دم او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈو یو ایڈوائز می ٹو ٹیک ایز پروٹیکٹر اینی ون ایلس ایکسپٹ اللہ ہو از دی کریٹر آف دی ہیون اینڈ دی ارتھ when you also admit that he is the creator of the heavens and the earth why not take him as your protector why not be friends to him why to befriend the smaller gods even if they exist what's the logic in it even if the smaller gods are there why shouldn't i have a relationship with the the chief god qul aghayr allah takhud waliyan fatir samawat wal ard بھی from among the idolaters or the associators whosoever associate with him anything or anyone as equal or partner qul inni akhafu an asat rabbi azab yawm al azim proclaim to them even i fear the punishment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if i disobey my lord the divine law is immutable It, don't, it doesn't change from man to man. Even myself. Although I am his messenger. I am his chosen one. I am his beloved. But even if I disobey him, I will be brought to the book. If I disobey my Lord, even myself, I fear the chastisement of and the punishment of the grand day of the big day mighty day man yusraf anhu yawm aydin faqad rahibahu from whosoever that punishment is averted on that day it will be out of mercy from him man yusraf an yawm aydin faqad rahibahu Whosoever is saved from that torment, actually he is saved by virtue of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a hadith, you know, the Prophet said once, nobody will be able to enter paradise by dint of his deeds only, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy upon him. And some of the companions, he took the courage to ask him directly, Even you, O Messenger of Allah, when the statement of the Messenger was categorical, nobody can enter paradise by dint of his deeds only, unless Allah has mercy on him. Even you, O Messenger of Allah, said, yes, even me. I need the mercy of Allah. So here it is. قُلْ إِنِّي أَخَافُ إِنَّ سَيْتُ رَبِّي عَذَابَ يَوْمِ نَزِيمٍ مَنْ يُسْبَفَ عَنُوا يَوْمَ يَدِينَ فَقَدْ رَحِمَا وَذَلِكَ الْفَاضُ الْمُبِينَ And this is a clear and manifest time for success. وَإِيَمْ صَدْقَ اللَّهُ بِدُونِنُ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ إِلَّهُ And if Allah touches you with something which is painful, unpleasant, 
then nobody can remove it from you except him why am saska bi khairin and if he touches you with something good pleasant something welcome fahu ala kulli shay'in qadir then he is powerful over everything now this is all tawhid all attributes of allah sifatullah amantu billahi kama huwa bi asma'ihi wa sifatihi so these attributes of allah wa huwa al qahir fawqa ibadihi and he is irresistibly omnipotent qahir nobody can resist him nobody can challenge him irresistible omnipotent wa al qahir fawqa ibadihi he has full control over his servants wa huwa al hakim al khabir and he is all wise all aware 